Hey guys, and welcome back to Blue Stinger. When we last left off, we had just rocket jumped, basically, over that massive, great, big, bloody thing. So, here we are at the power station. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the power station area. It is a little bit of a head fuck, but I'm sure we shall persevere with a little bit of brute force and ignorance. God damn these lasers. What is it? I'm playing Luigi's Mansion at the moment, which is driving me mental on that difficulty. And now we have these annoying lasers. What is this? Really? How many bullets do you take? Too many would be the answer. Whoa, Elliot. Eyes on target, mate. Whoa. Those dragonfly things actually do look pretty cool. I've got to say. Right, let's chow down a hassie. Because we're in kind of a bad way here. Go for a couple of small ones. I don't know, actually, if a large hassie does um, twice the healing of a small. Uh, I'm not actually sure. Maybe we should uh, do some experimenting at some point. Although, that'd be quite a hard experiment to successfully do yes you suck sir you suck you suck goat testicles boom right what are we doing for the financials what are we like 2100 in the bank that's not bad i suppose it certainly could be better certainly could be worse you know um i like this little roadblock thing here it's, <laughs> it just looks a bit odd I don't know what that's about. Let's keep going. Keep pushing. Ooh. Wait a minute. I'm sure there's something here. Ah, yes. I can't remember how we get on top of that. Because if you look on the top of that bad boy... There is a rocket launcher. And that's actually uh, Elliot's rocket launcher. Which we can get for free. But I think we have to come back later. So, let's uh, press on, shall we? And we shall enter the power station. Oh, I, you know, the power station was a little bit of a nightmare for me. First time I got here, and uh, I think in our previous playthrough, I actually really struggled with this, if I remember correctly. But, I think I'm a little bit better prepared now, because I have a little bit more head meat. I think. I guess time is certainly going to tell. There's no electric going to the elevator. Oh no! Well, I'm sure we can figure that little problem out. Ah, oh, this door won't open. Well, that won't bloody well do, will it? So we have two doors that won't do jack. Yeah, okay. Okay, I get you, Elliot. I get you. It's cool. We're good. So, we have two doors that do sweet FA. Nothing we can... Oh, there is no electricity going to the control panel. Yeah, we know that. The whole area looks totally and utterly dead. But there's got to be something. Will you turn on the emergency light? Sure. Seems like a clever thing to do. Under the circumstances. Well? Well, I'm looking for the emergency light. There should be a control panel close to the emergency light. Could you check it out? Yeah, we check. can do that. Got it. All right, darling. I'll go have a look at that. Right, let's go have a little fiddle with that, shall we? Oh, shit. Everything's lit up now. Uh, I guess that's not the control panel we want to look at. We probably don't want to smash it to pieces either. I'm just saying that might not be a good idea. Oh. So we have a down slope. We have that we can't do anything with. Oh, there we go. Your system is off. Output OVA. 
Superconductivity power is non-functional. B43 R61 Y13 G32 Right. I think we need to like write that down. Superconductivity power is non-functional. B43 Cuz that actually tells you Y13 G That actually tells you the uh, wires and the exact areas that need to be replaced if memory serves. So, let's have a little bit of a look down here, shall we? I do love the way Elliot walks down there like he shit himself. Which is fine. You know, we are in quite the terrifying uh, environment. So, let's have a look at some of these doors, shall we? Ooh. Yeah. Fan handgun magazine, yeah. not bad. And a magazine of arrows. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's cool, I guess. We've also got a vending machine, which is rather spiffy. What have we got in said vending machine? Hmm, we got some hassies, we've got some sandwiches, but we don't really need healing items. We will take, yeah, we'll save it. Because, why not, I guess. Yeah. Alright. And we download the map. Because that seems like a rather smart thing to do. My beard is itching. I don't know why. Maybe I've got fleas. Okay. Let's see what's in the next room. Ooh. Yeah. Got the crank. Well, it wouldn't be a Resident Evil clone without a crank, would it? It's kind of like uh, a standard hand-in-hand -hand kind of dealio. You want to be a Resident Evil clone, you've got to have a crank. One crank is acceptable. Multiple cranks is god tier. Aha! Kind of remember this room. This guy pays out a nice amount of cash. Oof. Yeah, I do remember this area. Loads of red boxes. They kind of look like uh, napalm canisters, but they're not. I can definitely confirm they're not. Electric cables. These are good. I think... I think we need four electric cables. But we're only getting two. Uh, well, I mean, two's better than none, I suppose. That will get us started. I don't know if we can actually like screw it up and like burn those out. I'm not sure. But essentially there are multiple different junction rooms. And that little code that we've got, there's four of them. That tells you which junction room you've got to go to and which yeah, doors locked. There we go. So that will tell you what what room you need to go to and what pipe exactly is burnt out. I don't think I twigged that years ago because I was a dumbass. And what are these? Oh God, okay. They are bad necks. I mean, I guess I could have guessed that. I guess I could have guessed. Wow, these things suck. Really? Elliot! Try and kill it, Elliot. Try not to die. Well, at least we know those green things are bad business. Mm-hmm. So this is area B. Now, let's have a little look on this, shall we? We are looking for... If I can get my pictures up. We're looking for B43. B43. And that's B7. Oh, there's a big fella. Really, Elliot? You missed that thing. How did you miss that, Elliot? Ah, Elliot. Got plenty of shotgun ammo. Might as well use it. Ooh. 
Get up. Come on, you bastard. Yes, right in the chest. Bleed out, you bitch. Right, okay. So, as you can see, we have all these little rooms here. We are going to check out all of the rooms because I think some of them have goodies in. In fact, I'm fairly sure some of them have goodies in. So we've got B7. Let's check out B7. Might find some more cables. Okay, so here we go. You see all of these here. Cable looks fine. Cable looks fine. Yep. All the cables in here should be fine. But we're going to double check. Have a quick sweep for items. Now, that enemy is going to come back every time we come back into this room. Which would be good if you want to obviously grind out money and whatnot. But we don't need to grind out money. So, we're all gravy. And I've already forgotten what we're looking for. So, I'm going to be smart, and I'm going to write it in my notebook. Because hopefully my notebook won't keep going to sleep and turning the screen off. I mean, there's a notebook, right? Notebooks don't generally require power. At least I don't think they do. Unless it's a computerised notebook, which I hadn't thought about. Then it would require power. But not a lot of power. Just slowly sip it. So we need B, 4, 3. So that is room B4 and it's component 3 that's burnt out. Then we have R, 6, 1. Y, 1, 3. And G, 3, 2. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Right, well, there's nothing there. So we need B4. Dude, you really should have stayed down. Because you are just a walking purse. It's really all you are to me. B4, no, B, we want 4, not 3. 5, 3, 2... So that's four. Right, let's go replace this cable. But we are going to check the other rooms anyway. Just because. Oh man, look at this one. And it should be three that's burnt out. There we go. Um... Okay. So, we know what we're doing. We've got to turn the power off. I guess so. Electric cable. These spare electric cables are cut into various lengths so they can be used in times of emergency. Yeah, I'm guessing somehow we need to turn the power off. In these individual rooms. Well, that's a kick in the knickers. Oh, dude, really? You'd spawn in my face? I don't want to see that. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see that ugly, disgusting, smelly mutant face. As soon as they enter a door. Okay, so, have we got anything in here? I mean, maybe there isn't actually anything to pick up in any of these. But I would have sworn that there was something... Like a Hassi or some ammo or... Oh, an enemy, perhaps? Definitely wasn't really expecting an enemy, but I'll take it. I'll take it. What have you got for me, sir? Oh, you got the stun rod. Yes. The stun rod is a much better melee weapon. Well, I say it's a better... A much better melee weapon. I'm actually not sure how much better. I mean, it's further down the list, so I guess so. Kimtech Electroshock. This electric stun rod simultaneously applies positive and negative charges to whatever it hits, giving a powerful electric shock. Yeah, so I mean, 
It looks cool. It's basically a strange lightsaber type thing. Uh, and it's, you know, I think it's a good step up from the axe. It is significantly more money than the axe. I think this thing's about 3,000 if we want to buy it. Well, it cooked his ass pretty good. Yeah, I mean, realistically, out of all the melee weapons, there's only really one that's better. I mean, there are other weapons, but they're more kind of just for fun. The Ray Sword is the only one that's legitimately, like, better. I would say. Ow. And this gives off, like, a really cool effect. And it really does uh, put the Dreamcast through its paces. It's actually a really nice weapon to experiment with uh, and grind out cash with. Right, so that's off to Y. That's back to B. There must be somewhere where we can turn off the electricity or something. Oh, God. Yep, I thought I could hear you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get fucked. Those little bugs are really doing a lot of damage to us right now. The trouble with those bugs is they stun you and allow the other monsters to get a nice free little attack in, which really blows ass. But those uh, white jumpy guys, or those white t-shirted jumpy guys, need to be careful of your terminology these days, are really good for money, as you just saw there. Let's have, let's go for a large sod it. No room for a little in this man's army. So we chow that down. We might as well go for another one straight away. We don't want a weapon. We want food, man. Food. So how do we turn off the power in this place? That's what I can't remember. So I think there's only seven rooms. There's still quite a lot, to be fair. Ah, another cable. Because we need four cables in total. Um... And it's R6-1 that we need to replace. So, we have three of the four cables that we need. So, there's that. Uh, where's the runny boy? There he is. Come on, runny boy. I got this for you. Ooh. Ooh. Get up. Get up. Yeah, you got nothing, son. You got nothing. We're off, We're off our ass on bloody large hassies. We got energy for days. Right, so number six. So it should be six one that's damaged. Which is this one here. Yeah. But I wonder if it's something stupid like dogs can do it. I mean, I doubt it. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference at all. So somewhere we need to turn the power off. Is basically what's going on here. If we could get to the door, that would be great. Come on, you. Yeah, nice, nice try, buddy. Just cook your ass. Mm mm. Fried mutoid. Mm mm. My favorite. There we go. Yum, yum, yum. So, uh, I am confused. There's got to be a central power room somewhere. Hmm. Nothing in here. Yeah, there has to be a main switch. I mean, I would have thought the main switch is in the main room that we came in, which actually could be the case that absolutely could be the case but that'd kind of be annoying if that was also the case you know r4 let's check out r4 nope no goodies nothing at all 
So what else we got? R2. I don't think we went into R2, did we? No, I don't think we did, but there's nothing in here. Okay, so I guess we can check out why. R4, we've done R5. We're going backwards here. Uh, R, did we go into R1? I can't remember. There's so many freaking doors, man. Uh, questionable. Possible, I suppose. Debatable. Alright, let's go on to Y. We want Y13. It's the one that's damaged here. Well. Hey, friend. Ah, you're one of the basic bitches. You're not really worth our time. Sorry, pal. Must suck to be told you're not worthy, but I mean, that's just the way it is. Like, I don't make the rules, okay? I don't make the rules. Don't get shirty with me, son. So, this is... So, this is the one that needs replacing here. Yeah. I'm definitely missing something. Probably parts of my brain. Oh, you sod. You got the drop on me. And this, unfortunately, is where it's a little bit of a pain that the enemies do come back. I mean, it's fun, because it's always fun to beat them up. But... You don't really get a lot of time to sit and think about what you're doing. Let's try R3, or Y3, I should say. Nothing in here. In one of these rooms somewhere is going to be the final um, piece of cable that we need. So all this exploring rooms isn't really a waste of time. Because we have to. Because we need that cable, you. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, two, yeah, we came from that way. Man, it's so easy to get, like, turned around in this area. It's so confusing. Oh, what have you got? Yeah. Not bad. Stockroom key. Okay, I was hoping that was a bank card, but I will take a stockroom key as well. You know, if I have to. Uh, right, this way. Oh, shit. Yeah, we could actually take some bad damage here. Yeah, the combat system was never really designed so you could hit those bugs. See what I mean? But then I think it's fair to say this game in general is very, very half-baked. In fact, calling it half-baked is, uh, I think, being attached generous. Okay. Alright, let's grab all these pennies on the floor. There's the admin office. I mean, that might be what we need. There is no electricity going to the automatic door. Well, that's just poo. And I honestly can't remember what door we came from. Did we go into this one? We did go into this one. You know what we could do? What would be a brain idea of uh, understanding where we've been and where we haven't been? Really, Elliot? Really? He's standing right next to you and you unload that shotgun into the wall. You really are a smooth brain, Elliot. Ah. Oh, I know, we've played games before where the main character's been soft in the head, but come on. Right, map. Let's have a look on the map here. Oh. I guess... I guess it's one of those games where it doesn't really tell you what room you've been into and what you haven't, because technically each one of those is two rooms. Oh, that's annoying. Right, so there's a Y corridor just down from us, which apparently we haven't been in. Which is this one, I guess. Yeah, this is to G. 
So I guess we haven't been in here yet. I guess. Yeah. Uh, so there's the cable warehouse. And there's only G1, apparently. This door is locked. We know it's locked. That's why we have the key. Try and keep up, Elliot. Um... Hey, we've got the other bank card. So we've got all the bank cards now. And I believe... Yeah. Ah, right. Right, right, right. Insulated gloves. Yes. That makes a whole brain of sense. And I guess we can't actually do anything with that. Right, okay. So, we've got the insulated gloves. Which is good. And we need G3, 2. So we can go switch this one out. And we're almost out of time, unfortunately. G3, 2. You changed the burnt out cable. Excellent. And as much as I would actually like to have an extended video in this game, uh, of this part, I actually can't this one particular time. And that's because I have to go get the missus. Uh, which ain't the end of the world, but unfortunately I have work tomorrow, so I'm not going to be able to do all this. I was hoping to do this in one shot, but never mind. One day we shall be the master of our own destiny, but today is not that day, God damn it! Ah, uh, can you imagine never having to go to work again? Can you imagine how amazing that would be? Can you imagine walking out of your job for the last time, telling your boss to get fucked? That's like a dream that so, so many people have. And so few of us will ever experience the joy. Ah, oh, I'd love to go into the office. <laughs> just get fucked and just walk out. Um, yeah, that's not exactly true. I do enjoy my job, but I would you know, much rather um, <clears throat> not be there. Uh, right. I mean, no, 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 no. I love waking up at four o'clock in the morning. I love it. I love working 11 hours a day. Honest. Right, let's go grab up all of these coins. Hey, there's so many worse jobs I could have. So I'm grateful for that. Uh, and I've got a lot of good friends at work as well. We keep each other sane, more or less. Apart from my work on the streets now, and I never really see any of my friends. Cable looks fine. The cable is not fine. The cable is anything but fine. Uh, it's because it's that one. So, two cables down, two to go. Not bad, Elliot. Should we give him some health? I think we should, you know, give him some health. He is suffering there a little bit. Let's give him some health. Let's give him a hassy to chow down. Uh, items, food. Hassy. Much better. Oh, damn, that dude actually paid out quite a penny. Items, food. Go for another large. Why not? Why not? I suppose it could be worse. I could be on Elliot's money. Elliot can't even afford a steak dinner. There we go. Right, let's get out of here. So that is... Pretty much all of that done. Yeah, nice try, buddy. Really? It would be cool if Elliot had, like, a block, if you could counter those guys somehow. I mean, to be fair, if we played as dogs, you can pretty reliably counter those guys. You always take damage. That's one thing to be aware of. You always take damage. We've done G. We need to go back to R. R. Like a pirate. Yeah, you always take damage. 
when you block, but it's just like it's a it's a small amount of damage. This is the yeah you got the drop on you, didn't we? Warmed your ass up with some shotgun, and then finished you off with the blade, the blade of wonder. I'm actually making some good scratch here too. Some very good scratch. I mean, we were at 2100 when we came into this place. Whoa. Yeah, we've like over doubled our scratch, man. That's pretty rad. Pretty rad, man. I'm happy with that. Uh, cool. So, let's go to 6-1. We might just get this done, actually. 6-1. You replaced the burned out cable. Yes, we did. Not bad, man. Not bad. Uh, oh, hey, friend. Oh, Jesus Christ. You take my teeth out flying like that, you bastard. There we go. That'll warm your ass up just nicely. Honestly, the respect you get from these guys sometimes. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. So we're back up to nearly 5Gs, which ain't too shabby. Elliot will be able to have steak twice this this month. Well, to be fair, he's had steak quite a few times. Now, we need to go back to B. Now, where is B? That's back to Y. That's back to B. Lovely. We need B4. Ooh, bloody hell. Hey, sir. Almost sat on him. There we go. Well, that's uh, enemy placement for you. Isn't it weird that a big mutant bastard like him doesn't really drop um, as much money as the other guy? Kind of weird when you think about it. Is that weird? Is that just me? Is it just me that thinks the bigger enemies should drop more loot? I mean, he's not really a bigger, harder enemy. Well, to be 100% honest with you, the enemies aren't really hard at all. Cable looks fine. Cable looks fine. How did we just leave the room? Oh, right. We need B4. I am an idiot. But you guys already knew that. Ooh, there we go. B4, motherfucker. Nice. Yeah, this video is going to be hot off the press. It's going to be, like, uploaded, like, I don't know, as soon as I'm finished here. Um, had a bit of a funky few days. I haven't been in my Discord or anything. And I've got so much YouTube to catch up with. It's crazy. Yeah. Been a bit of a funky couple of days, to be honest. But feeling a little bit better now. Um, there we go. Cable looks fine. Elliot, don't give me this rubbish. Are we? What room is this? What is this? Oh, that's three. We went in the wrong one. God damn it. I'm getting tired of cooking your ass. Mm-mm. Fried monster parts. Yeah, we want four. We want four. Where is four? Yeah, uh, I had like a rather nasty lip infection and massive amounts of fatigue from work essentially spent nearly three days in bed does that sound bad i mean i have been pretty rough so i suppose it's justified uh right okay i just started feeling better today and start getting hyped right and then suddenly dawns on you that you're back in work tomorrow morning. Hey, and dogs appears. Good timing. Let there be light. Power system output is decreasing. The power supply outside the power plant will be terminated. What? Hmm. Well, that doesn't sound good. Hang on. Let me check. Maybe you should check the control panel by the emergency light switch again. Yeah, maybe we should. Well, that's weird. We activated everything and now we're running out of power. Maybe we have too much power. 
Like when everyone in The Simpsons gets uh, all bands together and repair, rebuilds Ned Flanders' house. And he ends up with a room that has too much electricity in it. Maybe that's what's happening. Yeah, we need to go to E. E is the way back. E is for everybody. And we're here to help everybody. Well, that's not true. We're here to help ourselves. Right, now, before we do that, guys, I'm going to have to save this video. And our time together, once again, has come to an end. But, no fear. We shall return. And when we return, we're going to find out what the hell's going on with the power. There's probably some big bastard monster sucking up all the juice somewhere. It wouldn't surprise me. Um, you're dead, so that's wonderful. And there's the save machine. So, guys, I'm going to end it here. I hope you enjoyed this. No, VMU inserted. Ah, oh, yes, that's Socket 2. That's because Socket 2 is my rumble pack. So, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time. Yes, indeed, Elliot.